today we are going to discuss about all types of thoracic vertebra so let's see today's topic our today's topic is the total number of thoracic vertebra the types of thoracic vertebra different parts of thoracic vertebra anatomical position of thoracic vertebra details about different parts of thoracic vertebra and some relation and attachment of different parts of thoracic vertebra so let's start our today's lesson the total number of thoracic vertebra is 12 among these 12 thoracic vertebra there are two kinds of vertebra one is typical thoracic vertebra another is atypical thoracic vertebra now what is typical thoracic vertebra and what is atypical thoracic vertebra the typical thoracic vertebra is the thoracic vertebra that contains some common features and the atypical thoracic vertebra that are the thoracic vertebra that contains some special feature see for example these two are typical thoracic vertebra and these five are atypical thoracic vertebra let me clear about the distribution of typical and atypical thoracic vertebra the first ninth 10th 11th and 12th thoracic vertebra are the atypical thoracic vertebra and rest of all that means from second to from eight that is typical thoracic vertebra so the number of typical thoracic vertebra is seven and the number of atypical thoracic vertebra is five we will discuss about atypical thoracic vertebra later first we will discuss about typical thoracic vertebra So this is a typical thoracic vertebra first i will discuss about different parts of a typical thoracic vertebra that is vertebral body that is vertebral foramen that is transverse process that is spinous process and this thin area at the junction between the vertebral body and the transverse process is called pedicle this is superior articular notch and this is inferior articular notch now i will tell about different kinds of facet in the vertebral body and the transverse process and other parts of typical thoracic vertebra in the vertebral body there are two costal demi facet remember carefully that is costal demi facet demi means half that is upper costal demi facet and that is lower costal demi facet the upper costal demi facet is large and the lower costal demi facet is somehow smaller than the upper costal demi facet this is transverse process and here you can see there is the oval full facet this one is full facet not demi facet and this two is demi facet that's our superior articular facet and that's our inferior articular facet i am again repeating vertebral body vertebral foramen transverse process spinous process superior vertebral notch inferior vertebral notch superior costal demi facet inferior costal demi facet oval facet at the transverse process superior articular facet and inferior articular facet pedicle lamina so that's at the part of a typical thoracic vertebra this is vertebral foramen that is small and circular this one is superior vertebral notch that is ill defined except in case of thoracic one vertebra and this one is inferior vertebral notch that is well defined and it transmits the numerical corresponding spinal nerve and the superior vertebral notch that transmits the preceding spinal nerve at the body of the vertebra there are two costal demi facet that is upper costal demi facet that is lower costal demi facet that is upper costal demi facet that is lower costal demi facet the upper costal demi facet that are large and the lower costal demi facet that is smaller somehow than the upper costal demi facet 
this one is the typical rib this is the head of the typical rib and in the head this is the articular part this is the upper part and this is the lower part the lower part is large and the upper part is smaller now i will discuss how the ribs articulates with the vertebra This is the superior costal demifacet which articulates with the lower part of corresponding rib and this is the inferior costal demifacet which articulates with the upper part of preceding ribs. So now I will show how the ribs will articulate with the thoracic vertebra. Like that. The articulation between the ribs and the thoracic vertebra is like that. The lower part of the ribs articulates with the superior costal demifacet of the corresponding vertebra and the upper part of the ribs articulates with the inferior costal demifacet of the preceding vertebra. Now I will discuss about the transverse process. This one is the transverse process that is white and directed upwards, backwards and laterally. It has two surfaces and two borders that is anterior surface, that is posterior surface, that is upper border and that is lower border. In the anterior surface, there is a full oval facet. This is the neck of a typical rib. This is the neck and this is the tubercle. This tubercle has two parts, that is articular part and that is non-articular part. This oval facet articulates with the Articular part of tubercle of the corresponding ribs and the area lateral to the oval facet that attached with the non articular part of tubercle of the corresponding ribs by lateral posterior transverse ligament. The area medial to the oval facet that gives attachment to the posterior transverse ligament. The inferior border attached with the upper border of the neck of the succeeding ribs by superior posterior transverse ligament. The posterior surface gives attachment to the deep groups of extensor muscles. These are the superior articular facet and these are the inferior articular facet. The superior articular facet are flat and directed posteriorly and laterally. And the articulation between the vertebra is like that. This is the spinous process that is long and directed downwards and backwards. This spinous process gives the attachment of two ligaments and some muscles. As like the ligaments are interspinous and supraspinous ligaments and the muscles are trapezius, rhomboidus major minor, latissimus dorsi, serratus posterior superior and inferior muscles and medial groups of erector spine muscles. So that's all about the typical thoracic vertebra. Now I will discuss about the atypical thoracic vertebra. And this is the thoracic vertebra 1. Now I will discuss about its special feature for which it is called atypical thoracic vertebra. The body of the thoracic 1 vertebra that is cervical type that means the anterior posterior diameter is less than the transverse diameter. But in case of typical thoracic vertebra, the anterior posterior diameter and the transverse diameter is almost equal. So that is one point. The second one is superior vertebral notch is well defined and inferior vertebral notch is also well defined. But in case of typical thoracic vertebra, the superior vertebral notch is ill defined. So that is another point. And here, the superior vertebral notch transmits the 8th cervical spinal nerve and the inferior vertebral notch that transmits the corresponding first thoracic spinal nerve. And here, the vertebral foramen is large and triangular. 
but in case of typical thoracic vertebra the vertebral foramen is small and circular so that is another point and here the spinous process is long but horizontally but in case of typical thoracic vertebra the spinous process is long and downwards and backwards so that is another point now the most important feature in the body of the thoracic one vertebra there are one full facet and one demi facet but in case of typical thoracic vertebra these two are demi facet so these five points are the atypical feature that's why it is called atypical thoracic vertebra now we will discuss about thoracic nine vertebra so this is thoracic nine vertebra this feature is almost similar to the typical thoracic vertebra except just one feature in the vertebral body of the nine thoracic vertebra there is only a demi facet but that is upper demi facet but the lower demi facet is absent so that is the only one feature for which this is called atypical thoracic vertebra now we will discuss about tenth thoracic vertebra it has a full facet at the vertebral body and a full facet on the transverse process and the body and the vertebral body is like lumbar type for this reason this is classified as atypical thoracic vertebra now we will discuss about 11th thoracic vertebra and it has a full facet on the body but there is no facet at the transverse process for this two feature that is classified as atypical thoracic vertebra and at last this is the last thoracic vertebra that is also atypical thoracic vertebra that is number 12 thoracic vertebra there is a full circular facet in the body but there is no circular facet at the transverse process this transverse process has three tubercle that is superior tubercle that is inferior tubercle and that is lateral tubercle the superior and inferior tubercle corresponds respectively with the mammillary and accessory tubercle of the lumbar vertebra and the lateral tubercle represents the true transverse process the inferior articular facet are convex and twisted forwards and laterally like that of lumbar vertebra for this reason this is classified as atypical thoracic vertebra so that's all for today in my next video i will discuss about manubrium the body of the sternum and the zipoid process i want to mention that all of my video is based on mainly ak datta's human anatomy book so if you watch through my whole video you can have a clear idea about ak datta's human anatomy book thanks for watching my video if you like my video please do like comment and share with your friends and that will inspire me to make more video and last of all please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you